Hello there guys and welcome to your, I believe this is our 19th C++ tutorial. In today's tutorial I thought we'd go over the, well since I forgot to mention it from the beginning, today we'll go over the boolean values and we're gonna go over a very quick tutorial and hope you like it so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and I'll create a new C++ source file and if you don't go ahead and type this code I have here currently and if you don't have it go ahead and pause the video and type that and resume it alright so let's go ahead and get started first we, let's go ahead and type our code and then we we'll go over it so we're going to declare a boolean value and we're going to call it b standing for boolean and then let's go ahead and set b here equal to false since we know that boolean values are either false uh, or true, basically 0 or 1 so. then let's just go ahead and display our boolean value here b and then let's go to a new line ok next I'm gonna go ahead and set our value, our boolean value to true and let's go ahead and display that as well go ahead and put a new line there as well let's look at make it look a little bit neater alright so now let's go ahead and put an if statement if let's put b here and then c out hello youtube and let's put a new line here as well just to make it look neater and then let's do the same thing here if b Let's go display. Hello, um, I guess Google. Alright, but up here, I didn't put the semicolon here. Here we go, semicolon. Now, here we're gonna go ahead and set B equal to false again before we display. Alright, so this is our simple tutorial now let's go ahead and go over our code so just like double values and integer values and all the other types right here we declare a boolean value and we down uh, right here we set it equal to false because boolean values can be true or false then we display that boolean value so when the b is false here we should be able to see a zero here because zero uh, stands for false and then down here we set b uh, the boolean value to true so once we display that we should be able to see a one and when we go to our if statement here we say if b so we basically saying if this is true which is true from up here b is true so we should be able to see hello youtube on the screen next on the next line we're setting our boolean value to false again so we're saying here if b if true but this is not true so then we should not see the second message so what what we should see is basically zero one and hello youtube let's go ahead and build this and go ahead and see if it actually works alright, uh, let's go ahead and do this like this alright, so it was built, let me run this so that's what we see we see 0, 1, hello YouTube alright guys, so our next story is going to be a little bit more advanced uh, this was just a quick overview over the boolean value so you guys get familiar with this and next is going to be a more advanced tutorial so please guys uh, subscribe to my channel and friend invites are always appreciated and if you have any concern or comments please uh, send me a message or anything like that and I'll try to do my best to help you guys and thanks and also there's also a series of Java tutorials there's going to be some new ones coming out too but please check out those tutorials as well and thank you for watching my video again.